Hey everyone, thanks for joining me and letting me sound off about the human race. So today, you know, I just walking home from the shops and there's this man holding a stop sign standing on the road and like the big red sign, you know, he's, there's, there's some sort of construction going on beside him with a big truck and I was passing by like walking like the way you see me now. Hello! And I just, he, he all said hi and then, uh, then I said, do I have to, I stopped and said, do I have to stop here too? <laughs> because there's a stop sign, he's holding the stop sign, and I was pretending, do I need to stop? Like some sort of like human, silly man, like confusing the signs of life. As if nobody like doesn't understand that, you know, so funny. <laughs> so <laughs> he said, no, no, continue on. So obviously he didn't get my joke. But today I want to talk about connecting with people and the human race. I just want to say everyone that we're all like family. We're all humans. We're all people. We're all divine beings. Spirit. But what I really want to say is like, let's be a bit more friendly towards one another and less afraid. Connect on the simpler level like the forest gump. A holy, a holy or sacred simpleton like a child do you remember when you were a child and you just like you just like say hi or whatever like hang out with other children adults we have such fears walls and barriers and I want to say like try let go and connect on the simplest of levels like they're your brother brother from another mother sister from another twister like just like look around like all the people you know they're just from other, other bloody women, other mothers and fathers. We don't need to be afraid. Don't be afraid, you know. Like, it's nice to say hi and smile more and say thank you. Maybe probably my like saying hi or smiling or thank you, especially thank you. We have number one and number three things on how to connect to people more. Just like express and feel gratitude in your heart. Like just say thank you more, even if it doesn't. There's no reason. So like being a bit silly or like stupid, crazy, goofy. I love to be silly, crazy, goofy, weird, wild, mad. To be honest, not really weird, wild, or mad, but just like Forrest Gump style, like simpleton, the fool, the sacred fool, embody the innocent. Like no need to be afraid of you. Energy of a simpleton who doesn't have a big ego. Like just you know, no one has to be afraid of you then. No one, no one can be more stupid than you if you're the, the stupidest. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you could say it's an ego thing to try and be the most stupid. And that's like true, you know, in, in a funny, weird sense. But no, you know I don't mean that. But like, ego generally means like to be the most. The most of something. The biggest. The most sick. The most depressed. The biggest sad story. The worst past. The biggest like sad the biggest intelligence, the biggest success, the best times. You know, all of this is like ego, you know? But, you know, you don't have to embody heaviness, like seriousness, intensity. What I want to talk about is embody the opposite of that, of the fool, the sacred clown. I love that so much. It's my biggest passion in life almost. It's the freedom of the child, the, 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 the childlike open innocence, the receptive learner, the humble beginner, the, the student. But at the same time, like you're like a holy master almost. You can make people laugh. Like I love making people laugh. Like I make people laugh nearly every single day. And I'm not. I don't consider myself to be funny. <laughs> but sometimes I'm kind of like. I guess I'm funny. I suppose. Like I just like being goofy and really ridiculous and silly and over the top. A bit like Mr. Bean. So it's not everyone's style, and I'm, not, I'm just saying. But you have your own style. So be your own style with it and embody lightness and uh, just connect into whatever way you want to connect. So we don't have to be afraid everyone, that's all I want to say really. And just be innocent, be, be free and childlike. And stop worrying about what everyone thinks of you. And that would be my message, one of my main messages of 2017, which I've been meaning to make a video of. Definitely that. And of course, seek healing, both in your own practices of honesty and reflection in your life. Seek honesty in healing, seek balance 
by looking at your life and seeing where you're out of balance, look after what needs to be done. When you don't take care of what needs to be done, it builds up and creates pressure and tension inside of you, stress. So don't let things go that need to be done that are important. And uh, connect to yourself, to other people, and to nature, the environment, the land, animals, your family, anyone close to you or meaningful. And get out of nature, everyone. Breathe. And switch to a healthier diet. Switching your health up a level really improves the quality of your happiness and emotional well-being and stress and peace. So it's a nice day here in Canada, eh? Sunny. Yesterday, today it was snowing, but it must have been cold enough because it melted. Whereas previous days it was actually freezing. Today is cold, but the other day it was freezing. Well, anyone, I want to say thanks for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed this little video of mine. Hope you feel welcome to click on the subscribe button. And at the end of this video, you want to see some links of mine for my herbs shop. Also my life coaching, my health coaching and relationship coaching. I love to do that. It's my highest passion in life to help the world. And 2017 is my highest intention to help the world even more and better than I used to. To reach my higher self more. To be... To, 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 to live by my greater self. A purer, kinder, more generous, sharing, open self. Humble more receptive to learning more less more patience like less uh, less arrogance like less anything bad and more of a bit of everything good little by little one step at a time and i encourage you to do the same thing one step at a time everyone one step at a time a thousand of it like the the Tao Te Ching says i think it's the Tao Te Ching the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step and it's persistency and consistency being consistent Day in, day out, regular, keep going, keep going, Re achieves great results. They say to become a master at anything, you have to spend 10,000 hours at it, something like that anyway. So um, check out my links below and get some herbs or superfoods or enzymes or essential oils from my higher self herb shop below. You can see in the description box and don't forget to befriend me on Facebook. I love to connect with like-minded souls and spirits and good-hearted people. Take care, everyone. Lots of love. Thanks for watching again. Take care. Bye.